welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a singles reading for you, my lovely singles. So we're going to be doing a singles 2023 reading. So I have already done a love 2023 reading, but I really want to do another one based on singles. And just if you're drawn to this reading, then this is for you. I do other messages as well as love. So if you are here, then it is going to be a message for you. So we have the four groups here. I have my usual setup as well, which I'm very happy about. So we have the four groups here. We have group number one with the selenite, group two with the rose quartz, group three with the pyrite, and group number four with the clear quartz. So please choose your group now. As usual, all my rates and my crystal shop is down below. At the moment, my crystal shop is being constructed and deconstructed and all the things she's being updated so if you don't see any new crystals for a while she is being updated but if you would like to get anything on my shop or you're drawn to it then that is down below if you'd like to have a look anyway so timestamps will be down below in the description and in the comment section down below let's get started also if you'd like to purchase a reading with me please uh, email me or instagram message me and just as a reminder i will never message you for a reading so if somebody looks like me and says hi my lovely would you like a reading <laughs> it's not me okay it's a scammer so be careful of this because this happens a lot with different uh different psychics on here so okay so let's get started with group number one with the selenite ball hello group number one let's get started with your reading my lovelies all right so you guys chose the selenite ball <sighs> okay i'm feeling very breathless all of a sudden I normally do get breathless before i do readings sometimes because it's opening that heart chakra girl okay so let's get started so we have the beautiful selenite. We also have peach selenite here, which I am absolutely in love with. I love peach selenite, it is so nice. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you have. Okay, you have success. That is really, really nice. I get such an adult energy from this group. This feels like I have matured, I have done, I think really, I'm done my deed. Like there's a lot of things you haven't wanted to do. So of course this is through 2023. If you found this and it's not 2023, obviously like the year before or whatever, whenever you've come across this reading, that is totally fine. This can be very, very general timing as well. So obviously this can be timeless. It's energy, it's all very changeable. So just take it as it resonates. Okay, group number one, let's have a look. So you guys got success. I feel I'm getting really drawn to pull you guys a chakra card. So I'm gonna whip my chakra cards out. I can grab them. I have so many cards, it's like, <laughs> they get like so bundled up. Okay, so with this success card, what I'm really getting from this group is that you guys are really definitely maturing. There's a sense of like how you value your success, how you value yourself, what success looks like to you and actually feeling successful. I'm hearing it doesn't matter about love, it just matters about unlocking a lot of balance with you and your relationship to other people other things it's kind of like i'm hearing i don't care um i don't need to worry going with the flow that type of energy it feels very mature very easy extremely feminine really really feminine energy very gentle and peppermint is such a gentle light can be quite cold um quite cooling not cold quite cooling um refreshing energy and that is what i'm getting it feels very refreshing so that's really really nice um, I feel like I want to get a couple more of these before we go into this. So let's get a couple more. Let's see what else. I'm getting the number one, so that's really good. We've also got the number two, and we've got Libra here. So this feels to me like you guys are reconnecting with either your Libra side, a Libra, or there's a sense of balance that you guys are definitely coming across when it comes to your your love life and just your life in general. This feels so gentle, this energy. I just fucking love this. I fucking love this. This is so, so, so nice. I love this. So happy with this. Oops. So we have longevity, gratitude, beautiful. Scorpio, Libra, Gemini. This feels like a trio of people. This could be you as a singular person with all these in your chart as well. And then we have energy. What I'm feeling is I'm hearing, where do I put my energy? So your main important part of you is where you put your focus, okay? And this is why your girl doesn't watch the news. Your girl does not subscribe to people who she does not resonate with. Your girl does not, you know, follow people on Instagram who she doesn't resonate with. You know, I don't do things that feel inauthentic. If I feel like there's some sort of like uncomfortable, almost like rubbing feeling, like, please don't do that, girl. 
I don't do it. So what I'm feeling for you guys is there's definitely this sense of being careful of who, you, <laughs> sounds really dodgy, but who you give your juices to. So this is basically you. You are this uh, fruit, the orange. With an orange is you can squeeze as much as you want out of it, but you can only get a certain amount of juice out of it. But you wanna be careful of how much you use, otherwise just in case you've only got one orange to use, say. So you are this orange. You wanna be careful who you give your energy to, who you give this specific type of energy to. And this is really important because we've got number 10 here, two and eight, which is 10. That's really, really nice. I get this, this energy of, I've got it sorted, we, we are all good here. It feels like you don't really need anyone in your life and that is a really nice energy. And what I mean by need anyone in your life, I just mean that you're not craving this like really intense, you know, relationship that you need to sustain you, to fulfill you. It's not like that, it feels really gentle. I'm getting like this really mature middle-aged woman in my head and it feels like she's just so happy. So you may be middle-aged, but you don't have to be middle-aged either. But what I'm feeling is like, I'm, I'm coming of age. That's what I'm hearing. You could be like 16, just take it as it resonates, guys. But it, the energy of what I'm feeling, it's just, I'm ready. You're gonna be. You, you are ready for a love life. You're sorry. You are ready for a relationship, definitely. Um, and there's gonna be like something connecting the dots. So when you meet somebody new, if you are meant to meet somebody new this year, I do feel that you're gonna realise why you had to go through all the stuff you did go through. Actually, things are gonna make sense in 2023. They are. I'm hearing they're gonna make sense for you. Okay. So let's see what you guys are working on to manifest this relationship. There we go, that's Libra and energy. That's exactly what I was feeling. The root chakra, we've got balance. We've got this sense of yin yang. We've got this really calm, peaceful energy, which is exactly what I was picking up on. That is so effing accurate. Like, it's just, wow. So I'm picking up, I'm hearing she's independent. She has this gorgeous energy. And what I mean by independence, oh my God, relationships. Of course we do have that because we had that Libra energy from that. What I really like about this is you are definitely more in control of how you feel. So say if in a, like something comes up that was used to trigger you, it does not trigger you anymore. If something comes up and it makes you feel uncomfortable, you are actually able to deal with it and work with it. You're not pushing it away. You're not forcing it away. You're not... Um, using addictions to push it away, which I don't ever say not to do stuff like that because if you're still in that, do not force yourself out of it. It's the same with any toxic relationship. If you feel like you need to be in there, stay in there as long as possible, as long as you feel comfortable with. I don't say like, you know, do something that's abusive. I mean, if you're in something and you feel like you feel guilty because you're still there, you're still there for a reason. So don't bash yourself or be hard on yourself for, you know, doing something and feeling shameful about it. Work with what that shame is showing you. Like, what is that showing you? What are you trying to hide? of yourself you know and that's where you can really get to the good stuff and then we have forgiveness i mean come on this is so wow this is so synchronistic i'm getting a pizza in my head some of you guys are eating pizza okay so we have forgiveness this is the heart chakra so this is about you guys really give i keep tapping my knee it's about support feeling supported so i feel like for you guys when it comes to your love life you're gonna definitely feel a lot of support this is really to do with you in this section of the reading this is very much to do with you so we will of course look into somebody coming in as well my lovelies as well um but the fact that we have this 19 and we have forgiveness what this is showing me is that a lot of you guys have been just really really hard on yourself and you've been really struggling with just the thought of um just being essentially just being really kind to yourself so this is something that you guys are pulling out the woodwork you're you're pulling out all the um, arrows out of your back or the thorns out of your hand. Like I feel like things that have been, you've been basically used to sabotaging yourself, but now you're not doing that anymore. And you're able to really be in this energy without sabotaging it. So basically you're gonna attract a really, really, really good connection. So we then have relationships, which is so perfect. And it's half of six, two and one, which is three. So what that's showing me is you are gonna attract a relationship because two, three is six and this is six. So it feels like whatever you're learning, I'm hearing whatever they have learned, they're bringing it into the next relationship. So that's really, really good. Um, I also see some of you guys are getting a beagle, um, a dog. Yeah, definitely a dog coming in as well. I'm hearing relationship first, dog next. So you might also be thinking, I'm gonna get a dog soon, I'm gonna get a dog soon. I don't know when they're gonna come in, but I'm gonna get a dog soon. For me, I always let the animals kind of come to me. So whenever I'm meant to have one, then I'll get one. Um, that's kind of how it works for me. I don't know if that's works for you, but that's definitely what I've 
learn is that if that soul wants to come towards my life then I will let them <laughs> um, but then we have longevity what I feel is that the more gratitude the more you think positively of your life and focus less on what you can't control and the negativity you're gonna feel it's gonna feel easier I'm hearing girl you just got to focus on one thing at a time but make sure that focus on one thing at a time is things you can control okay stop worrying about the future work on what can you do now to make yourself feel more comfortable because i feel like a lot of you guys it's like rewiring your brain to support yourself rather than be hard on yourself and that's why it's really important especially with that libra energy libras are very positive sometimes like toxically positive where it's like everything's going to be fine and you're like literally sitting in that you know that dog with that this is fine emoji or not emoji oh my god i'm so old um i'm only 26 and i sound like i'm very old um that this is fine uh meme and it's a dog and he's sitting in a room of fire like that's literally libran sometimes because libras like to be happy they like positivity they don't like things to be out of balance which i say out of balance because you need you know you need difference to be in balance so you need the positive and the negative side it's all about perspective so i feel like you have done the dirty work you've done all the stuff that has just felt grudgingly uncomfortable and it feels like nails against a blackboard and shadow work and all this yucky gooey stuff this year super easy that's kind of where i was getting at with this with this group um i feel like i want to read the card of balance so i'm going to grab my little book i feel like maybe i can grab it now because i don't want to pause the video because i'm lazy today so i can have it in my little plastic bag over here okay let's have a look at sorry guys right let's have a look at number six because i feel like that's really important so we have 36 20 39 6 and 12 so these three could be your age 36 20 or 39 okay so number six. Oh, this is so good I, I actually i'm hearing i love this reading and i haven't even um haven't even read this card yet okay oh base chakra i love that okay so balance so if you've been feeling very out of balance this is because this is why because you're teaching yourself how to get in balance by yourself without leaning too much on somebody else i don't want to say that because it's really important to be supported by other people i mean basically you're letting yourself support yourself but then when you need it you're getting the support you're not solely relying on somebody else to fulfill your happiness okay hopefully that i'm getting to the point all right you have called this card into your awareness today as an indication that balance is required somewhere in your life so this can be a message for you but if this doesn't resonate this can just be a separate message for somebody else okay so mastering balance is certainly a work in progress and a powerful master key to a more homo harmonious and enjoyable life. We live in a physical world of polarity with day and night, hot and cold, and the forces of nature are constantly working towards a state of balance in everything. Also, I'm hearing with nature, you've got to leave it alone sometimes. Or actually, not sometimes, all the time. With nature, you just got to leave it alone for it to get into balance. That's kind of like your body and your energy. It's like sometimes you just got to leave something alone um i'm hearing stop picking at that spot that's what i'm feeling um when you walk <coughs> oh my god sorry when you walk your path with no judgment and realize that everything has an opposite life becomes less stressful and flows with ease and grace you may have been feeling out of whack of late oh libra is also telling you i feel is to stop looking at something from just one side like when it comes to your when it comes to another person in your life stop focusing on just what they're doing focus on how you can feel comfortable within what they're doing because you can't control what they're doing to you or how they how you're feeling about them i'm hearing like some of you guys are really solely tied to somebody and it's really toxic and it feels like you can't get off them it's almost like a, like a leech on you like a vampire so this person could be a family member friend whatever that means that basically they've kind of got an energetic hold on you so emotional cord cutting is always very very good and i always do this when i say it because that's what i do when i do it and that is really important because it's showing me that you guys need to get back that control so you realize that no it's not your fault as to why you're thinking about them all the time take a moment to see what is out of balance in your life what have you been to putting too much energy into or focusing on or what requires a little more attention i'm hearing the the word p-u-s-s-y and i'm not going to say it because i might get one of those um but it's for a cat you some of you guys might get a cat um if you have been putting too much energy and effort into something and feeling stuck then it's time to let go and allow the natural flow of balance to take place if you've been ignoring something and not giving it attention it requires now 
now is the time to give it some love, care and focus. It could be thoughts in your head, relationships, work, family or a new project you are working on. Once you find where the balance is required, take action and positive steps to allow the natural flow to occur. There is an old saying that too much of a good thing is not always the best medicine. Balance is key. It's time to let go and stop pushing or trying too hard. Surrender and allow balance to bless your life. This card can also indicate that balance may already be present and you have been taking the right steps to allow it to flow into your world. Affirmation. I am balanced in all aspects of my life. Boom. Okay. So, my lovelies, let's have a look and see. I'm hearing well done for going through that part of the reading because I know some of you guys really want to know what's going on in your um, romantic side who's coming in. I know, I know, I know. All of this is very important though, and I really love these colours. Can we just appreciate the greens, the purples, the pinks? If you want to like decorate your room or a, or a room like this with this in it, yes. I'm hearing just fucking do it, especially with the new year. Oh girl, yeah, that'd be so sexy. It'd be so pretty. Especially if you're going for a very kind of natural, almost bohemian theme, maybe a little bit of like, I'm hearing like dried out, uh, what's it called, wheat? Is it wheatgrass? I don't know what it's called, but basically where you have those like dried out, long stemmed things. I don't know what they're called, but they have a little tuft on the end. Yeah, those would be really pretty in your room or in a room in your house, I feel, for some of you guys. Okay. All right, let's see what's coming on for next year. Well, to 2023, obviously, whenever you watch this, feel free to come back again a few months later and watch another group because that's kind of what I'm getting for this group. You guys like to try out new things. It's really good also to try new things. So, and it's also good to just try things. It doesn't have to be a new thing. It could just be you're coming back to something. Some of you guys are going to meet somebody who's really tall. Um, for those of you who want a taller partner, oh my god, this person's really attractive. So those of you who want a male in particular, this person is really attractive to you. Um, if you want a female, same thing. They have just a very like tall energy. I feel like you may end up with a very tall woman if you want a woman or a very tall man. They may be just taller than you. So say if you are the masculine and you want and you want a feminine who's smaller than you. I feel like they're gonna be taller for some of you guys. Oh, this is so sexy. I love this. This is beautiful. Oh, you're very scared about this, this new connection coming in. I'm hearing I'm not surprised because this is new and it's very normal to be scared of something that is new. Do we want this one? I wanna see it. They say I wanna see it, but don't use it. That is interesting. That's like a little extra message. I'm gonna put her there because she's like a little sneaky one nice right so this is basically what they're showing me is validation you're being asked to give yourself validation when it comes to giving okay how do i explain this can you tell me how to explain it so i'm hearing when you get given a present what is your reaction when you get given something what is your reaction do you feel like you want to give it back do you feel like you want to unwrap it in private there's something about however you react to presents roughly is how you react to being given a new opportunity somebody new in your life there's a sense of how do I react to this? And there's a sense of I'm scared it's gonna leave me. I'm scared it's gonna go. I'm scared it's gonna be taken away from me. I'm hearing go, that is from childhood. There's something from childhood that maybe you had things taken away from you and you have to really be strong about it. Like you have to really keep everything too close to your heart. Otherwise it could, it could have been taken away from you. I'm hearing that is not happening anymore. And I'm hearing my love, you are in control. No one can take anything away from you unless you let them. Okay. I'm hearing not even siblings. There could be siblings that try to take things away from you. I'm getting with some of you very specific message could be in the past or could be in the present moment or possibly in the future. There's a sense of like a sibling getting really jealous of you having a really sexy man or a sexy woman. I'm picking up specifically like a sister. Um, wanting the person you're with and they're really jealous and they try to sabotage it you know what's going on but this just feels really like sibling rivalry something like that i'm not too sure but that's a very specific message okay this is kind of the energy that we want we want this because that means that you're taking what you're given this is basically i'm hearing if you want to title this reading this is called the insecurity of the relationship and what this means is i'm hearing am i worthy of this so basically you are going to get a partner possibly this is very general so for a great deal of you you are going to get it i'm picking up like at least 65 to 70 70 percent of you guys are going to get a partner um some of you guys it might be a little short term and you're going to come back to them it's gonna it's very random for a lot of you guys but whoever this person is you know this person's the right person whether they come in now or they come in later their energy is just absolutely 
spot on, absolutely gorgeous. You know when you really fancy a bit of food and you get given it and you're like, oh my God, oh, so amazing. If you're food driven like myself, it is the best day ever. That's you with this person. You feel like fits the fucking bill, okay? So with the star and the four of wands, this is saying I've worked on my stability, took some time, but we got there. We got through some drudgery. We, we went through it. We came out the other side and now I'm ready for something new. Yes, it's scary. Yes, it's new. Yes, it's something I'm not used to, but is it good? Hell yeah, it's very, very good. Then we have this eight of wands. Is it on the eight of wands? Nine of wands. So I can't see cards when I channel. Um, nine of wands. And then we have the moon, the wheel of fortune, six of pentacles. You have to take this slowly because if you don't, your ego is going to be like, I'm scared. I can't do this. Do you know what? When you, I just want to like break it down. When you're in a relationship, you're meant to actually share how you feel with somebody. Obviously, maybe not on the first date, unless you want to, unless you want to go really authentic. But I want you to, to make sure that you're doing this out of your choice. So say people have told you like, oh, this person's really good, you know, blah, blah. I want you to make your own decision on this person and this situation and every situation you have, especially this year coming up, 2023, I really feel like I want you to start making sure that these choices are yours, okay? So it can take a bit of time to really realize, okay, this is from my childhood or is this something that I really do feel? It's about basically pulling yourself out of a situation from being around people, sitting down with yourself and being like, when I'm on my own, do I really like this person? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're very influenced by other people because you're very sensitive. So it's really important to get back to what you really like and want and need. And with the Wheel of Fortune, once you decide that what's really right for you and it's, it's when, once, you know, with cats, where it's like where I, where I fit, I sit, that's kind of what you want to do with this energy. So when something fits, you sit. Okay, girl. So with that wheel of fortune and the six of pentacles, it's saying when somebody, when I give back to myself, I'm able to give more. So I really want you to have this in mind is I am worthy. I give when I'm able to give and I have boundaries. That's really how you want to go into this energy. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. What I'm feeling is it's not actually complicated. It just might sound complicated the way I'm saying it because I'm trying to get it into like human words. Because <laughs> sometimes when I channel, it can be really difficult, especially because, you know, when you are working with like psychic energy, it's really hard to like channel words sometimes because obviously it's just energy. So it's like, it can be quite difficult. But I can tell you for a fact, this person, there's something about the number three with them. Three months, three years in between. It could be they're three inches taller than you. They're number, living at number three. Something like that. Lovely. That's really nice. That's a really big message for me, guys. A lot of you guys always seeked out people and that's why it never worked out. And then you're always like, why am I so single as fuck? And all the, why is this just never working out? Like, girl, it's because it wasn't meant for you at that time. Why would you want to have something that's at the wrong time? You're just gonna, it's going to fuck your life up, you know? That's why dating sites, I never like. Obviously, if you want to go on a date, it's like, go for it. But I never like encourage them, really. Because at the end of the day, like, you can't force meeting somebody. Like, you just can't. Unless you're literally meant to. You know, does that make sense? Does that make sense? I don't know how to explain it, but obviously, if you feel drawn to do it, do it. But don't feel obliged to go on a dating site. Because honestly, they are riddled with, like, insecurities. <laughs> okay. The outlaw and the sage, right? I feel like this person is going to be very different than what you're used to. Um, we then have ascension in the re no, this is upright. Okay, so you will have a lot of ascension symptoms. This person has ascension symptoms too. They're very spiritual, actually. They're very authentic, very gentle, very new. Like there's somebody you've never really been around before. They're very, very different. Um, there's somebody who's very assertive as well. Okay, let's get you guys some more cards about this person see what else is coming up for you guys i'm hearing everyone is different so don't be afraid to just don't compare yourself to anyone else when it comes to relationship every relationship is different you can see people in a relationship it doesn't mean they're happy or they're content or even if they are content it's not your relationship make it your own okay so we have virgo this person's very secret so i can't really tell you too much about them in this group sorry guys but that's just what they're showing me they're saying i don't want this person to know too much about me so that is totally fine. I will respect that. So it might be because they're really close as well. And it's kind of like the universe is saying, oh, you know, don't say too much because it's going to ruin it. Um, Virgo, Leo, Lunar Eclipse. What I'm picking up on is I'm picking up on a cinema. And, you know, um, when you watch, a, when you're at the cinema or, you know, you're watching a TV show and you're watching it on no normal, normal TV and you have the adverts, you kind of have to trust that that 
TV show is gonna come back on again. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Like you don't know what's gonna come up in your life and you don't know how long it's gonna last, but you trust that, you know, something is gonna come out of it and it's gonna get a lot better. That's what's happening with you guys is I'm hearing I trusted and I gained. I trusted and I gained and that's really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's really about trust in the process, I feel. Okay, so this person, um, you're most likely gonna meet them after a lunar eclipse or they can be born on a lunar eclipse. They feel quite Piscean to me as well. They feel very like high vibe to me, very high vibrational. Okay, we have Soothe Your Soul overcome your fears yeah this is telling you about the next connection you're in um it's saying like trust each step and don't be afraid of this person leaving if they're not the right person let them leave because why would you want to why would you want to dedicate your life to somebody who literally is not interested in you like, like that is just a waste of time um and also i feel like a lot of you guys might change your job just before meeting this person um, so 2023 looks very, very good for you guys. So I'm very excited for you. And I think you should be excited as well because it does feel really good. It does feel very easy. Lovely. That's why we're not meant to see your man or your woman because they're very private. And I really feel like for a lot of you guys, I don't feel like 2023 is going to be a, a year of depth for a lot of you guys, especially if you've done shadow work, Mary, especially if you've done shadow work. Um, what you're going to witness is newness. Like you're going to see, I feel the world in a different way. So obviously your world in a different way. And I'm hearing, don't, don't forget to experiment and try different things. I'm seeing you guys at a museum and you never go to a museum, but you're like, let's just go to a museum. Like you just want to try new things. Like don't be afraid to just really try out life and really try things. And it doesn't have to cost any money, you know? Okay, so let's possibly see how we're going to meet this person. Wow, so it is definitely after something big. Um, it could be through some type of spiritual work. Um, it could be through meditation, uh, group, something like that in some way. It feels deeper than that. It feels like different though. It feels like after a big move maybe house wise i'm not too sure but it's to do with scorpio so just take that as it resonates use your own discernment it could be in october i'm hearing that song aquarius i'm hearing when the moon is in the seventh house <laughs> i don't know if that's actually what's happening in 2023 but yeah take it as it resonates guys it could be something near water you know use your own discernment so that is your reading guys i hope you enjoyed and it resonated if you would like to please give it a comment down below if you enjoyed it i really appreciate your comments and i appreciate you subscribing if you haven't already and my rates and crystal shop are below and i'll speak to you very very soon bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading so you guys got the beautiful rose quartz so let's have a look and see what's going on okay so we have hope that's really really nice i feel like a lot of you guys have just been feeling really low um about relationships in general it could be even family friends you know things like that i just feel like a lot of you guys want to have something to look forward to so that's really nice the fact that this is taurus makes a lot of sense because taurus is very solid so you're not just going to get anything that's why um it has taken a while to attract that certain thing um, and every time I say it's worth waiting for, my legs are tingling. <laughs> so there's definitely, um, when my legs tingle, it's a confirmation. So basically it's saying that whatever doesn't resonate with you, it won't come to you. So you're not just going to have any old connection with somebody. And this is friendships as well. You're not just going to have any old person just come into your life. Um, you're either kind of all or nothing for this group, I feel. You can't just have, I feel five friends i feel like you're the sort of person that gonna have loads you're a sort of person to have loads of friends that are really kind of like not too close to you or you have two like really specific close friends you're gonna have and it's gonna lead you towards your next relationship okay then we have leo ritual sweet gone so what this is saying is really it's really good to protect your energy at the moment um can you see how the i mean when you get a sweet corn normally you don't get this stuff on it which i don't get because it's very good at protecting the sweet corn um but you know 
So for you, it's really important to have some type of ritual, some type of just something to help protect your energy at the moment because you got to realize like you're very protecting, you're very safe, but you do need to protect your body, especially when it comes to being physical with somebody. I mean, if you're hugging them or whatever, make sure that you feel comfortable doing that, you know, and if you don't feel comfortable, say no. I really want you to just be very aware of that because it's getting you comfortable with your body. That's what I'm feeling for you guys. And I feel like with you guys um, this year, you know, of 2023, I feel like you're definitely being asked, like, what am I prepared to do uh, or be with somebody? Like, who am I prepared to be? What am I prepared to um, put up with or, you know, not even put up with, but like, what am I prepared to have around me? Like, if something feels very toxic, you know, don't be afraid to just kind of Maybe just chuck it out <laughs> it's like it feels toxic like just don't be afraid to just chuck it out um and i don't know what that means but that's basically what they're saying i didn't mean to pick up this deck okay so i mean let's get another card because i obviously picked up that deck for a reason yeah this is for the same for the group number one it's definitely about energy for you guys and that's virgo that's the body so there's definitely something about your energy and things like that you will feel lower around lower vibrational people i just want to say that because not you know we're all on a different wavelength so People who are a little bit toxic, possibly narcissistic, you will feel worse around them, okay? So a lot of you guys have just been feeling like you're, I'm hearing, I'm doing it by myself, I'm doing it by myself, and that's okay. Sometimes you just have to do it by yourself. For a lot of you guys, this is the year of you. This isn't specifically you being in a relationship for this group. It could be, but this feels more like a really finding that part of you which i know sounds so cliche so cliche but honestly it is i feel like some of you guys are going to really have such a stronger connection with spirit and it's going to feel so overwhelming and i think what this is showing me is it's like it's opening you that, that heart chakra part of you um getting you to feel more connected with spirit and things like that so we have meditation that is the soul star chakra this is the solar plexus so what this is showing me is there's this sense of like, I feel confident enough to trust somebody else. That's why I feel really strongly like you're being you're being needed to, the universe is basically getting you to get closer with somebody in a friendship before you manifest a partner. Because what I'm hearing is it's like, you're learning how to get committed to somebody without the ties of physical stuff like sexual energy things like that that's kind of what you're learning and i'm going to say this is your own journey so you may actually meet someone we'll have a look in the tarot as well but i just feel like it's not a no that you're not going to meet anyone like i just want to say that because everyone's completely different but what i'm seeing is it's like one you're not in control of how you meet this person <laughs> i just want to say that really bluntly that's just how i'm feeling and number two is it's like you've really got to be careful what you focus on because a lot of you guys are really being like you're focusing solely on what you can't control and it's making you really negative and it's making you feel very bitter especially if you're a projector in human design bitterness is what we are good at um so that's what i'm feeling and I'm feeling like there's a sense of really need to focus on what you're grateful for, which I know also sounds really cliche because guys, honestly, in my readings, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys practical advice. But honestly, I feel like that is super practical. <laughs> like sometimes I don't want it to be all fairies. I don't ever really want it to be fairies and rainbows and sunshines all the time and like, la la la, you know, just meditate and everything will be great. It's like, no, you have to do the work, but it's, it's hard to explain. It just feels like this is a piece by piece message. It's really hard to explain, but it feels like you are 100%, well, 100% on the right track, but it feels to me, okay, springtime is gonna be good for you guys. Springtime feels good. Spring, springtime feels like an opening of some kind. Um, and then we have focus, which what focus is telling me is that there's a need for you to find something that you can settle down in and then you're going to manifest your partner. So like a friendship you feel really comfortable with, like fully comfortable, fully authentic. Um, a house that you can settle down in, like maybe you've paid off your mortgage or you suddenly get your own home, um, you get your own car for the first time or you manifest a certain amount of money that you've needed for such a long time. There's a sense of like a needing a physical goal first before you manifest a partner. I'm hearing that's just what I'm feeling. And I'm sorry if that's not what you guys, you know, want to hear, but that's... That's what I'm feeling, okay? So, um, let me just move these cards over here for a moment. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at, I feel like, um, I don't know, 14 or 32, I feel like we need another one. I 
I feel like we need another one. I don't really like either of those to, to read for a message. Not specific enough. Okay, we're going to read from this one. 16, determination. Then we have holistic health. Um, that's also showing me that it might be your health needs to be worked on first. Or there's a need for you to get more comfortable with being in your body, feeling your emotions. Because I'm hearing like, I'm hearing we've got a very special person for you. But there's just, it's just not the right timing yet. Because you do have to get to a certain level of um, just being really comfortable. Oh, that's a nice one in the chart. If you guys want to read that. Sorry, I'm getting so many messages. But if you guys want to read that, hopefully you can see that message. Okay. Give that a little read. Because for some of you guys, that's definitely a message for you. Okay. All right, so determination, number 16. Okay, you have called this card into your awareness today as a reminder of the power and importance of determination. This powerful energy is calling you to align with it as you bring out the determination that lies within you. Everything at some point requires the extra energy to push it to the next stage of creation. Determination and will are the keys to amplifying your desired outcome at this time. You may have been working hard on a certain project and have come to a standstill. You may have doubts and negative thoughts may be overshadowing your dreams. It is natural to have doubts, however putting this card is a sign that it's time to get focused and determined. What I'm feeling is some of you guys, there could be um, a family member who kind of is forcing you to get with somebody or you know, it seems to be possibly religious beliefs may be there. Um, and I'm picking up like, remember it's, it's going to be in your timing. So stop focusing on other people's timing. You know, you're not in charge of that. Don't ever think that some, that you're in charge of when you meet somebody and stop letting other people pressure you in that way. Okay. Don't get with somebody if you're not happy with them. Nothing in this world can take this dream from you. Allow the fire in your belly to rise as you bring forth the energy required to move to the next stage in your manifestation. It's time to be focused and clear on the outcome. What is it that you would like to create? What are your desires? You are the only one to make this happen and it's important to keep your eye on the goal. Don't let it go. Do what needs to be done to make it happen when you feel like all the odds are against you and you want to give up. Know that you have the determination to succeed. This powerful energy lives inside you and is ready and waiting for you to surrender to its calling. Call forth the power of determination to once again bring you into alignment with your dreams and desires. It's truly amazing what you can achieve when you put your mind to something and apply determination. This is a great trait of a champion athlete. It's time for you to be a champion and go for what you desire. Affirmation. I am an unstoppable... Un okay. <laughs> I am an unstoppable being of love and determination. I am an unstoppable being of love and determination. Beautiful. Okay, so let's get you some tarot and let's see if there's anyone that wants to come in. Anyone that wants to have their energy focused on. So that's all I can see. Some of you guys need more privacy. I'm picking up. I'm, he I'm hearing like, I'm seeing you moving into a new house and the um the walls no yeah it could be a wall but i'm hearing fe i'm seeing fences i'm saying wall but i'm seeing a fence um i'm hearing the fences aren't high enough so for you guys you might just need to have more boundaries with somebody or literally more privacy with someone uh, in your life which is very very good i'm hearing do it because there's something about um, this that wants to come forward for you guys okay <sighs> beautiful sometimes we i'm hearing when we go for a lot of trauma we don't always know what we want out of a relationship so this is what i'm hearing is you unraveling a lot of trauma especially it could be to do with family deep-rooted trauma religious trauma uh, um gender okay to your gender whether it be a woman, woman or a man it could be your sexuality there's something about you've been told you have to be this way therefore you've attracted those types of people keep going around around in circles and the only thing that needs, that needs to change for you to get off this wagon and you don't want to be on the wagon girl you want to be on the outside of that wagon is to actually change um what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and how you feel about yourself and who you're surrounding yourself with it's definitely about energy it's like really some of you guys you really lock on to what people say about you or how you how people feel about you like you're not here to please anyone especially family like i just want to say that because that will definitely um it will definitely affect your relationships to other people in love okay i'm hearing you want to make sure she feels safe yeah there's a sense of like there's like what are you focusing on this feels very gemini so you might be a gemini yeah i'm hearing <clears throat> what you're focusing on some of you guys may be unemployed and you're getting a lot of backlash from people around you i don't know it feels maybe family is kind of giving you a hard time about something and it's really affecting how you feel loved 
and this is going to affect the type of person you are. Ah, some of you guys feel like you have to rush to get with somebody because you don't want to be single or something. Uh, I'm hearing, please don't do that. Like you are, you're better than that. Definitely. A, a partner is not just to stop you from being single. Like they're literally to help you on your journey. Like they're not literally there to be like, okay, now your relationship is, now your status is in a relationship. That's the most important thing, girl. It's like, no, that is definitely 100% not the most important thing. A lot of you guys are focused on money. And when you focus on that career, that could be when you attract this new person. Because this feels very like, much like a singular person kind of on their journey, really figuring things out. What's the insecurity? Because we, we had an insecurity for group number one. And I really want to pull it out for this group. What's kind of um, almost like stopping you from meeting this person? Ah, intimacy. It's about you guys um, being scared of actually being seen fully for who you are and how you, yeah, it feels it feels very deeply religious or shameful about who you are as a person. Um, some of you guys, it could be an insecurity around skin color, which I'm not sure, this is very specific, please take it as it resonates. But it could be something to do with their ethnicity, race, it could be you've been bullied for that, which if anyone's bullied you for that, ill. That is just disgusting, people are, those people are trash anyway. Um, you are gorgeous, just the way you are, absolutely perfect. And this is about you guys actually letting yourself be seen fully for who you are. Yes, right, I feel what I'm hearing is, right, there's some old wounds that are definitely in the way of meeting somebody new, but it's not stopping you. It's just, this is something you have to focus on right now. It feels like shadows. It feels like a shadow of I'm not good enough. Therefore I attract people who I just need to get in the mo in like quickest time ever, quickly attract them, quickly get them in, um, you know, grab them with my both hands and don't let them go. That's kind of how you've attracted people in. Um, this is basically a survival strategy because you feel unsafe. I really feel like you want to focus on building your stability. What does that mean for you? It could be your body, it could be your home, it could be your job. That's going to help you attract somebody in. They're not telling me exactly who this person is, but I will try and see what's going on. But they are making sure that we focus mainly on you for this reading rather than an extra person. But if you are meant to attract somebody, you'll know because of how you feel in your body. Like you're going to feel very relaxed. You're not going to feel anxious. Don't ever feel like you have to look a certain way for a date or whatever. Like you could literally show up in a sweatshirt and like trousers or whatever, like jogging bottoms, whatever, like a tracksuit. And if that's sloppy, of course, I mean like a sloppy outfit, whatever. You don't have to put in the effort if you don't want to, like it's up to you. You gotta make this your own. And that's basically what you're battling with right now. It's just a lot of insecurity around identity pretty much. It was very much a lot of competition. You may have had a lot of competition in your childhood, maybe from your family members, siblings, things like that. But I'm hearing like, this is definitely for the taking, okay? Maybe by the end of the year, maybe Capricorn season, you could be meeting this person. Capricorn season feels really good anyway. It feels very stable. It feels like a very stable month for you. That might be your birthday or their birthday, your person's birthday. Whoever this is, it feels very much like they're healing a lot of family trauma from for you, which is really good. This person's very much out of your um, circle, so you don't know them. They may actually, this is really interesting, you may know them through family, but they don't, um, they're not the same, like say they're the same religion, same background as you, they're very different background, but your family knows them. So it could be something like that. I'm getting really strong Indian heritage from this group. So just take it as it resonates, but I'm getting really, really deeply rooted Indian heritage. So just take it as it resonates. Um, I'm getting like really strong religious beliefs as well. Lots of different types of religion, but it's how you feel about it. It's like, this is tying me to who I am. It's like, girl, no, it isn't like, you're fine. You know, just make it your own, you know? You're gonna also meet some new friends, definitely, before you manifest your person. You may be going to uni or, or college in Scorpio season. I don't know, something like that. That's just what I heard. But I'm hearing like focusing on money. It's really, really good for you actually at this time. But in 2023, that's basically what I'm feeling. There's not like a significant connection that's like, oh my God, yes, it's coming out for this group. So I'm sorry, this wasn't what you wanted to hear, but just please take it as it resonates because honestly guys, readings and energies, it can change. It's very, very changeable. So just please take it as it resonates because your girl knows as a tarot reader, energy is so frigging fluid. Like, it's like our, our emotions, it's so fluid. Okay, so just, yeah, be really kind to yourself, guys. But you have your relationship sorted, you know. Being single is not actually bad. It's just a thing. It's just, it just is. It's 
kind of like you as a human. It just is. It's like you're not unworthy. You're not, you're not, don't need to approve yourself to anyone. Yeah, beautiful. Get wild. That's something I feel like you're really learning this year. Just, I mean, my heart's beating really fast, like with excitement. Oh, we want all of those. Beautiful. Okay. Now underneath we have destruction. Yes. Don't be afraid to fuck shit up. Okay. Don't be afraid to just redo things that you want to do. Okay. It's not about pleasing anyone. You have Aries energy as well. Lovely. Look at that Aries energy. Beautiful. Okay. Take a risk. Compassion. We need more of this. Yes. Yes. We need more creativity. We need more sexuality. If you want to go and have sex with anyone, go have sex. Okay. If that's what you need to do, go do it. If not, don't. It's completely up to you. Okay. Then we have the warrior and then we have reclaim. This is nice. This is getting your power back in different ways for it. It's going to relate differently to each of you. Um, but what I'm seeing is getting to the root of a problem. Um, overpowering a family member, especially a parent who's been kind of like really in your energy. It's really kind of been trying to fuck up with your life, especially with your love life too. You might actually have to date somebody in secret for a while. But that's actually what actually is quite good for you. Actually, actually, is what good for you is it's what is good for you guys because it helps you to feel more safer. If it does, that is totally fine. Okay. Your person's really creative. They're gonna show you a side of you that you aren't, you feel like you're not allowed to show, which is creativity, which is femininity. Um, you haven't really been able to share your femininity a lot of the time. Like, yeah, especially around people you're interested in, you feel like you have to be like either manly or extremely masculine. Um, to kind of pretend that you're this and that. And it's like, don't let people think that, you know, just be yourself as much as possible. Of course we have Aries and we have the opposite. We've got Libra and Aries. So that could be a couple, it could be a Libra or an Aries, new moon as well. So one thing is you might end up taking up a new hobby and you could meet somebody that way. I'm picking up on like surfing, um, chess. I'm picking up on uh, snorkeling, um, joust, not jousting. What's that thing with the, with the I don't know what they're called. Javelin? No, it's not javelin. Oh, what is that called with the swords? And you have like, and you're like on guard. I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah, and it could be something you do from home or it could be that you're trying to get away from home to get some clarity and you know, you take up a new hobby, something like that. Lots of different things to this reading. So just take it as it resonates, guys. Okay, let's get you some more guidance. There we go. Right, it's about speaking up. Um, don't be afraid to really get into some conflict if you need to like, you know, have a little argument with somebody if you need to. Don't be afraid of a little argument or a big one, all right? But make sure you are making a decision to do it for you. And something that I've really uh, um, learned is something that's really good is if you're going into quite a scary situation, imagine that you, in your head, you are standing behind your inner child or your younger self. It is so powerful. Like you feel like you're really supporting yourself. And that's what I'm getting from this group, definitely. You find your calm as well. Yeah, it really is about looking after your body, like listening one step at a time. Okay, let's get some more. Lovely, getting to the heart of the situation. What is good for you? What feels good for you? What is making you feel really content? Okay, how are you gonna meet this new person? Virgo, lovely. So I feel like it's to do with the body. It feels, yeah, it feels like pretty much for a new hobby. For Virgo, I'm getting hobbies again. Um, it could be through after you've gone for a health situation. It could be after you have, um, I'm hearing after you've had your period. For some of you guys, of course, if you have ovaries. Um, what else? Yeah, it feels like, I'm, I mean, rest and digest. So it could be when you're at somewhere that's to do with food or some sort of tasting of some kind, like a wine tasting. Yeah, take it as a resonance, guys. Give me so many different, so many different things. Let's get one more. Lovely, solar calm clarity. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's, it feels like a detox around July, June, July feels really good for this group. So if you're meant to meet somebody, it will be then. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. If you'd like to check out my rates and crystal show, all that's down below. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose the beautiful pyrite. Look at her. She is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we have love. Yes. Oh, it looks like a little baby. That's so cute. That looks like 
the parents and that's the baby that's so nice so that could be just like a massive indication babies love making and lots and lots of sex <laughs> from this group definitely yeah you guys are, yeah mm -hmm. relationship is on its way my love yes definitely oh i messed up i messed up my flowers the roses look so like little scrolls today these are real flowers by the way like i was trying to get them to open up a bit more but they they weren't ready to open up yet and that's kind of how you feel about your relationships like eh, he's not ready to open up yet she's not ready to open up yet which is fine yeah a lot of you guys you want to you're getting to the root of something and then you're able to make your life a lot more simple you're not feeding off of the drama anymore which is really really good we've got wisdom as well bay leaves are very gentle very very gentle but they've got a really strong potent taste some of them and what this does is kind of like an added extra little sprinkle so what i'm feeling is this is a type of relationship it's like very simple but you have like spice in it very spicy you have the spice and it's nice but without the drama you know spice is different to drama you know um, we have strawberry which is so nice you're coming into agreement with somebody so you both have a um a very simple way of looking at things you're definitely the group with like a relationship in the uh in the connection yeah because not every group was fully fully focused on a relationship this does feel like yeah for a lot of you guys it can be that and obviously it's not factual information this is entertainment purposes only but a lot of you guys this is gonna yeah this is definitely a person new someone new it's, it's unlocking a lot of memories it's gonna be very healing for a lot of you guys you're gonna be very ready for this because it's not like you've been waiting forever i know if you have feel like you've been waiting forever it feels like definitely the right moment you wouldn't have been ready at the, at the time like previously because i feel for you it's like you know when you have to add a certain ingredient to something and it has to be at the right timing that's kind of this it's like you can't get into that relationship until it's that boop, okay now it's the moment yeah that's basically what i'm feeling from this group it's like you you couldn't have forced it if you tried like i'm hearing yes you may have thought like oh, that was the right person they're the right person at the time doesn't mean they're the wrong person but it means that basically you've grown so much and you're ready for something that is fucking long term. Like, hi children, hi marriage, hi all the things. And it's very sweet. This person is so sweet. They may smell really, really nice as well. Like really good. Like, oh my God, they might even smell like strawberries. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so you can expect a lot of abundance from this person when you meet them. Your love life is gonna be popping. I'd never say that, but I'm saying it today pop in <laughs> it sounds really stupid in my british accent i've got to add a little bit of pizzazz to it pop in um yeah things don't sound as good in british accents they sound really bland <laughs> um but abundance is really good for you so we have 22 24 23 and 30 so that could be an age possibly um i feel for a lot of you guys you're definitely ready for commitment you know when you want a puppy <clears throat> or you want a okay it's very different but you want to baby a puppy you want that you know that job that prosper you you know it takes up a lot of your time there's a sense of thinking is this worth my time can i deal with this am i ready for this that's what you're asking yourself i'm really appearing i'm so proud of you like normally you would just jump into connections you just jump in because that's that's the first thing that's that i'm hearing you are you're so amazing like you've done so well because i'm feeling like a lot of you guys just have jumped into shit and it's not worked out and you've really blamed yourself <clears throat> you've done a lot of work on yourself you've seen the really uncomfortable side of you you've seen the really good side of you and the authentic part of you is just like oh hallelujah i'm actually meeting someone who actually meets my needs rather than i have to like show them my needs like they actually have the decency to be kind be gentle and really be oh i'm hearing i can't fathom how fucking amazing you are i can't fathom i just can't i'm hearing i can't fathom you that's what I'm here. I can't fathom you. And basically I'm seeing you talking to this person. It's like, I just can't, like there's no word because you feel so comfortable with them. And it feels like you're going to have like the way you are intimate with this person physically is going to be very different than what you've ever had. Because when you're with people who take and take and take and take, it's very, very different to be with somebody who gives. Like it's really, really different. So you can expect to feel a little bit uncomfortable because it's something you're not used to. But it's like, oh, it's inviting. It's kind of like going into a house for the, or when you bought a house and you're going into the first time. Oh, it's scary, but oh, it's so good. Like, it's so good. Oh, I love this. You've done, you found something that used to be yours. Maybe you borrowed it, somebody borrowed it and they gave it back to you and you didn't actually, you forgot that they had it. 
um, or you find something that you forgot you had, you know, and it brings back a lot of memories. Did you guys have the card of memories or was it another group? No, no, it was you guys. Yes, yeah, it's done. It's something about a book. It could be um, you read something or there's a story that really resonates with you at the moment. Yeah, you've done the work, girl. This person's so deep. This person's really deep. They're a very deep thinker. They're not somebody who's just, you know, just the occasional average Joe. So if you call Joe, but the average Joe just basically just the average person. No, there's somebody who's really deep and they've gone for a lot of um, uh, changing, a lot of changing. They've gone for a lot of anxiety as well because they've had a lot of people just not believe in them and they've had to really work with that. They were kind of like the only child or the, I'm hearing the only or the lonely child. So they felt very alone at a young age and they've definitely worked with that as well. Um, okay, so play is a massive mastery for this group. For a lot of you guys, you're very serious or you take life, you really grab life by the balls. When somebody gives you something, you really use it all, which is amazing quality, but you wanna make sure you're not squeezing the life out of it. Remember, you do have options. So if this person, if you come, someone comes into your life and you're like, yeah, it's probably not your person because your person's going to really encourage you and you're going to want to be you're going to be curious about them um and what is happening with this play card as well is when you start to play when you start to just look at things out of curiosity rather than just like this is going to fulfill my entire life then you give yourself a choice and you're not forcing yourself because i feel like a lot of you guys you felt very against the wall when it comes to making decisions like you have quite a hard time making decisions just remember guys you have more choice than what you realize and if you don't know your choices take a step back give yourself a minute to decide you know you don't have to decide right there and then and that's for everything and then yeah and then we play it it just feels really really good it feels like you're ready for something new uh, this feels very gentle I'm, I'm hearing like look up videos of like dolphin couples like playing sort of thing like they're swimming around each other or something that's your relationship like you're both very accommodating for each other and that's something you need like you've had people that are really stubborn and people are very hard-headed and brutal like really brutal like very like uh, i'm picking up like the the not good traits of fixed signs like the unbalanced fixed sign like a leo or taurus energy like really up their own butthole or you know really just negative things like that like that's kind of what you've attracted before and that's you're not attracted to that anymore you're like i don't want that i don't want narcissism anymore lovely so this card here is to do with mother this is to do with the mother as well this is to do with nature and mother earth but it's also to do with your relationship to your mother as well so if you've been going through a lot of stuff with your mother what this is showing me is it's it's been healing your relationship to your feminine side and what this is doing is it's turning the light switch on to your heart chakra and it's bringing in new partnerships, new relationships, new connections that you are no longer, you're no longer scared of them. Like you're able to be who you completely are. And yeah, it's giving you a ma massive amount of clarity. Um, you're able to be very mothering with yourself and you're going to, you're going to be such a good partner. Like, I just want to say this, like uh, these relationship readings, a lot of them are about the other person, but honestly, I mean, not for my readings, a lot of them are about you guys, but what I'm hearing is it's like, it takes two for a relationship and you are such an amazing partner. Don't you ever think you are not, you're gonna be an amazing mother or father, whatever, to whoever, it doesn't actually have to be a human, it can be a, a little doggy, or it could be a, maybe you're a mothering person to a friend. It's like, you are that embodiment of that mothering energy. And it's so fucking special. Like, don't ever think that you have to earn anyone's affection by being that type of person but use it to your ability, you know? People really love that about you, but that's not your entire being. But it's such a precious part of you, lovely. You've definitely mastered something about yourself, which is so good. Yay! That's gonna bring you towards your person. You're gonna get an intuitive hit and you're like, I need to go there, I need to do that thing. Definitely a massive download. Okay, get in your creativity, because you're gonna get a lot of intuitive hits and you could meet your person through in, in the ethers. So if you're doing like a dance class or you're dancing or something, this is awakening you to somebody new. There's something about, I'm hearing, I need you to hear me. I need you to listen. So I feel like there's definitely somebody who wants to talk to you in like up there in the ethers. Um, I'm hearing they just want to give you a message. I'm actually hearing they want to give you a message, not through me. They're saying, I want to get it through you. And what I'm seeing is like, you need to unlock that um, 
connection to your inner child and your connection to your intuition and that's going to be where you get the message from i'm hearing trust me it's going to be very um fluid and easy and it's going to be very um synchronistic so we have libra libra leo uh sag so it could be your partner it could be the energy you're embodying just really easy it feels super 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 easy i'm hearing superman that's what your person could look like superman and if they do um yum that would be nice <laughs> that would be a so nice soy nice okay i'm hearing this isn't about validation because i'm hearing like every time this person moves towards you it's like i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared like you want to go hide so there's this sense of like oh my god i'm actually going to be in a relationship like that's terrifying but remember like you're not here to like get this person's approval i'm here remember you're not here to get this person's approval no don't do that yeah that's what that's just what i'm hearing yes new chapter for you guys in 2023 lovely gorgeous yes yes oh my god oh my god this is amazing oh my god this is so amazing wow your voice is changing too something about your voice you might be a singer hearing oh my god this is amazing wow this is so fucking cool yes oh my god okay you're definitely gonna be in a relationship because this person is like fucking enamored by you like they're like whoa i don't mean this in like a very generic way but they're saying how are you single like i don't understand like they're looking at you and they're like i'm really confused like they're really um fascinated by you there's something about you they're like oh girl what is like there's something about you i really want to get to know you and it's because you've gone to the darker parts of you because you're showing this person like i'm ready like you're fully open okay this sounds really bad but you know like people who flash with the big coats okay i mean it in a very funny way okay i'm saying this in a very funny way so you know like when people flash or when people make a joke it's something like that like the the line the end line of the joke that's this person you know when you kind of you get a joke and it's actually really funny that's this person's energy it's like it's very surprising it's very um unexpected it's very emotionally life-changing okay and you'll get instability there's definitely marriage definitely house here um yeah he sees connection with the moon and the queen of cups that's really nice that just shows me like i'm connected with myself i'm ready to meet my person bitch beautiful definitely a celebration 100 percent okay i want to see what's the insecurity that's stopping you from meeting this person or pausing it pausing it as two two cards okay so this is what i got for grid number one so i'm going to pull this out for you guys grid number three as well we have the world and the tower uh you guys are scared of change <laughs> that's your insecurity you guys are definitely scared of change okay so how you can overcome this is to go with the change all right make yourself as comfortable as possible and realize nothing is actually happening in a bad way to you it's actually just happening for you okay this is how life works life is fucking uncomfortable sometimes and this is coming from a fixed sign who is very stubborn sometimes hi i'm scorpio um this is my life okay um so one feeling is don't be afraid of things looking different as well your insecurity for this group is what if i don't like it and i'm hearing girl trust that intuition if there's something off about it you will know what it is okay those red flags are going to appear to you my love okay um trust your gut trust your instincts i'm hearing but i haven't been able to in the past it's like yes but this is different because you're going to take your time with this one okay also i'm hearing about showing off your body being vulnerable and showing off your body and i'm hearing you what if i have you know cx with them and they leave and if that happens they're not your partner <laughs> like why would you why would they do that you know and this is not going to be really difficult this relationship you're not going to have to like force it to happen and push it down and like it's going to work like no it's literally it's going to work so naturally like i mean come on i mean come on that is so perfect that's what you want to see in a relationship reading absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous okay let's get you a clarity card let's see clarify card there we go so that's what you're aiming for is lighter relationships um happier connections remember don't be afraid of happiness okay we have there we go see that is literally massive confirmation embrace the fucking change okay i'm hearing go 
of course it's not going to look right right now like your life is changing like it's not meant to look exactly what it used to look like before you said you wanted to have change we gave it to you okay lovely right so we have a very independent person someone who's really adult like this person is really into they're really good with cx they're really good with physical stuff and um, physical bodily stuff um they're really good with relationships they're very committed they're really good with commitment they're very sensitive they're very open very vulnerable very gentle very aware i'm getting sagittarius energy as well and there's somebody who is very yeah open and aware definitely there's somebody very deep could be a fixed sign also and they don't keep secrets they are very open so they're not somebody to just kind of um hold back anything i'm hearing no this person is very very open and vulnerable lovely you are on the other side my love now and you are no longer comparing yourself to other people which is really really nice okay how is group number three meeting this person i don't really want to know because like this relationship is so amazing Ooh, group number one got that group number two ah right if you're a scorpio this is specifically for you guys i'll read for the scorpios and then just the other people as well who aren't scorpios anyone who's got scorpio in your chart or if you got if you're a scorpio rising you know whatever wherever scorpio is in your chart what this is showing me is it's like don't look at the situations and this person's gonna fuck me over <laughs> okay and if you're not a scorpio take it as it resonates but what i'm seeing is you might have scorpio in a debilitated place in your chart and i hate this word but basically what it means is you have to go through this to you have to go through the discomfort to get to your person so you probably have already done that if you're going through a really uncomfortable time and you could be the age of 14 plus 8 which is 20 i want to say 22 i don't know i can't do maths when i'm channeling but um what i feel for some of you guys is you've had to go for a really uncomfortable time in your life um your life has not been easy it's been very up and down and what i see for you guys is you're finally reaching the top and i'm hearing it's been up and down but i'm it sounds really cheesy it says i've been up and down but i'm putting on my crown like now i'm ready to take the throne now i'm ready for this um type of commitment the scorpio is all about commitment it's about intimacy so you may have had times in your life where you've avoided intimacy by you know attracting people who are emotionally unavailable or attracting people who just want you for your body this is really important like you're coming into your own and it could be in scorpio season that you meet this person okay and that's for my scorpios and just anyone who that resonates with um we'll get one more lovely so when things start to feel easy keep going towards that side of you okay so it could be a little tiny thing in your life or it could be a really big thing but it's very important okay we don't want these cards no we don't want we don't want those okay so let's get one more let's get one more anything else about this person this relationship lovely so people in the past you're going to really when you meet this person that it's going to be a definite correlation between art ah, this is the right person very different type of style of relationship as well like you're going to act different you're going to realize how different you are um that's why you're attracting this person because if you acted the exact same as you did before you wouldn't attract this new type of relationship you have to do that in a work you really have to realize like ah shit i'm going into my patterns again reel it back reverse reverse you know okay so that is your reading guys i hope that resonated with you take it as it resonates uh rates and crystal shot are below and i'll speak to you soon my lovelies bye hello grid number four let's get started with your reading so you guys got the beautiful little clear quartz tower Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. So, ooh, we have affection. Oh, this is very different. I literally like put my hands up, like I was in, like I was um, doing something like really legal, illegally, something illegal. I was like, ooh, girl, this is like making me put my hands up. This is very interesting. Ooh, okay, I'm really excited for this group. Let's see what else wants to come out. Ah, you're seeing yourself in a very different way as well. Can you see how that cat is looking in the mirror? This little handheld mirror. It's like, ah, oh, I'm really seeing my body a different way. A lot of you guys have really had a lot of body issues. Body, you've been working on that. That's something you're really, um, you've really been working on. And something that's amazing. Yeah, it could be also you've struggled to um, possibly get pregnant and things like that. Obviously, I won't look into that. It's very, very, very uh, specific. And it can be, um, you know, it's not a good topic to look into. It's very, very sensitive topic. Um, but it could be something that you guys struggle with or maybe you wanted a baby and couldn't have one and i'm hearing that's okay my love everyone has a different life everyone's different everyone is meant to be different and that's okay lovely right you are now in a very very different place 
possibly you haven't okay this is really blunt you may not have watched my videos for a while maybe you've come back to my videos from a while ago and i'm hearing you've changed a lot or you're seeing somebody from the past and i'm hearing you've changed a lot and you might want to get with this person from the past okay don't always recommend people come back from the past and being with them everyone is very different you just got to make sure that this person has changed or that they're, they're what they're the sort of person you want to have in your life okay when you're with somebody you're bringing you are basically when you're marrying somebody or you're in a relationship with somebody you're in a relationship with their family you're in a relationship with their religion with their beliefs with the way they act you know that's what you are basically committing to so it's okay to say no and it's okay to have really strong boundaries like I want to take it slow or you know I want to do this first or you know can we have a conversation first like this is your life girl like don't be afraid to ask questions and get really get really comfortable with it okay and then we have memory so definitely definitely some past energy we've got Leo so it's coming back in a really huge way so Leo season June July could also be really good for love too in terms of like how you feel about yourself it could be a really good month you could meet somebody new or you could meet somebody from the past um so what I'm seeing is I'm hearing an elixir something that you drink could be really good for you at this time um apple cider vinegar take it as it resonates not a health reading not a doctor just to clarify Consult your doctor if you need be. Um, I'm picking up like colloidal silver, um, acidophilus. I'm picking up on things that you take in your body. So it could be something liquid, something tablet form, but I'm picking up like something that's detoxing or like it's giving you vitality, like it's giving you strength and it's giving you your immune system back. That's what I'm picking up. So with this affection, obviously affection is in a physical form as well as emotional what I'm seeing is people are really giving you a lot of compliments. You're, you're noticing how light life feels again, like it feels so much lighter. And with this divination and cleansing, this to me feels as if you're really accepting what's going on in your life, which feels really nice. It's like, ah, oh, I'm, I'm starting to get it now. Don't be afraid to really be a hermit though. Like if you need to be a hermit, be a hermit. I also see you guys cleansing your house in a sense of like needing to cleanse your air, the area you're in. If you're going into do new, new places um, and you can, make sure to sage and cleanse if you need. Um, if you feel like there's a ghosty around you, don't forget to cleanse and sage. Remember, I'm just hearing like the basic self-care is really important. Um, 12 and 14, there could have been something that happened at 12, 14. You could have known someone at 12 or 14. Um, 25, 29 could be your age. Um, or could be when you had a significant relationship, maybe at 12, I don't know. Um, so we have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Gemini. So there's a lot of fixed signs, um, obviously not including the Gemini. But what I'm feeling is you're definitely somebody who goes full hog on stuff. Like you're somebody who goes all in. And I'm hearing that's a beautiful quality. Don't ever let, don't ever think that that's not a beautiful quality. Um, I feel for you also, you're starting to get a handle on uh, how your energy and how you handle things and what feels right what doesn't feel right and realizing when something is just very off I'm hearing it's okay for something to feel off remember that that's actually a that's actually a really good thing to to realize and something's not right clarity lovely seeing things are getting easier in 2023 there we go so a lot of you guys you could attract a really truthful relationship the truth could come out about a relationship which is going to be really fucking healing for you like you're actually seeing either the truth of something like you're suddenly realizing something after being with somebody for a long time or you know being around someone you're like oh my god i'm actually seeing you for who you really are and i'm not clouded or you it could be so many things but what i'm seeing is you're really seeing the truth of something so it could be yourself it could be of another person it's just something here it feels very specific so just take it as it resonates but it's making you feel clearer, I'm hearing. Oh, like you feel like something has unlocked. This is very sacral, very sacral. Um, yeah, it feels really, really good. And I wanna read you that um, love card. I feel that that's really important. That feels nice as well. This one's a good one. So have a little read of this one as well, if you're drawn to. Okay, so let's have a look at that love card, number 18. Okay. You have called upon this card today as a reminder that love is all you need. Your true essence and every single cell in your being vibrates to the powerful essence of love. You may be going through a challenging time at present such as a relationship breakup, a challenging family situation, friendship breakdown or some personal challenges. Pulling this card today is a reminder that love is a key to your current situation. It's time to bring the focus back to love and to what is important and true for you. Love is the biggest healer of all and has the power to create miracles in your life. 
It is very easy to sway from the essence of love, especially in our crazy fast paced lives. You can never venture too far from this powerful essence because you are love. It resonates in every cell of your being. It's time to open and allow this energy to flow into your world and into those, into those challenges you're experiencing. I'm hearing, don't be afraid of loving. Don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of that vulnerability. Do what is required to become open to this love. Do you need some time for you? A holiday, a change of job, a deep, honest conversation with someone. Whatever it is, gift yourself that time and space with love. No matter what someone has or hasn't done, including yourself, we are all deserving of love in all its forms. If you feel that you sometimes have a tendency to close off from love, this card is an indication that it's time to open that beautiful heart of yours and allow yourself to receive. You are truly deserving of deep love and now is the time for you to dance with the essence and believe you are worthy of it. Remember also that the most important form of love is self-love. Ask yourself, what part of me have I not been loving? And take some time to give this aspect of you some good old nurturing. Love is the medicine for the soul and of life. This card can also reflect that you have been opening more to love and that it's time to meet this, that special person to share a loving connection with, possibly a soulmate or twin flame. I don't like twin flames. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do soulmate for now. I am love and love is me. That is so cute. I feel so like that is literally this reading. Like for you guys, you've been so deprived of a lot of love in your life, especially when it comes to just basic relationships. You think, oh, I'm gonna get a connection from that. Nope. Like you have been drawn to these people for a reason. But if you've been, especially around a lot of narcissist or very traumatic connections when you were younger, you will be naturally drawn to people who aren't good for you because you that's, that's what you feel is your capacity for love. Like whoever we believe we are, we attract that in. So say if we think we're not worthy, if we've been told we're not worthy, if we've been, if people have shown that we're not worthy, which is not true, you are, then you attract people who also think you're not worthy because that's what you're comfortable with. So if you're not, if you're comfortable with love now and you're comfortable with authenticity and reciprocity and things like that, you're going to get that. But it's actually believing that that's actually true for you as well. And remember, you're all the things, you're multifaceted, like you are allowed to feel angry, you're allowed to feel this powerful fucking fire, courage and watery energy, like you're allowed to feel these emotions, you're allowed to feel upset and angry and sad about the past. So if this person, if somebody comes back into your life, this is for some of you guys, this is gonna be different types of connections in this in this group, but if somebody comes back into your life and you fucking are angry, be angry. Like, don't be afraid to slap a bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm joking, but you know, I'm not responsible, okay? But basically it's like, <sighs> Don't be afraid of like really being truthful. It's okay, like you're allowed to do that. You are well within your fucking right, especially if someone bitch slapped you across the face, girl, okay? And I'm talking like emotionally as well. Oh, Bob the fly is back. Oh my God, this little fruit fly has come back. I always get this fruit fly in this room. I have no idea why. I haven't filmed in this room for so many, like possibly like two months now. And Bob the fly is back. Like where the hell are these flies coming from? I honestly have no idea. I can't, I, I literally, if I ever get an animal and it's gonna come on this channel, I can't wait. Like, oh, cause this, if I get like a cat or a dog, they're probably gonna come on my channel like all the time. Like as soon as I do a reading, like they're gonna hop on my lap or some shit. Like it's gonna be crazy. Okay, so, all right. Okay, what do I wanna look at next? All right, let's get a couple of these. Some of you guys wanna apply for Britain's Got Talent. I'm gonna do it. Some of you guys wanna like apply for like, oh, a talent show or something. I'm hearing, what if I fall on my face? I'm hearing, what if you don't? <laughs> oh my God, you guys just need a little bit of encouragement right now, I feel. These two. Get creative, 100%. The outcast, no, the outlaw, get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your normal environment, the sage. That's really important actually, because I feel like it's showing you like you can do things that you don't normally do. You can just get out there and try new things. Dare to dream, there we go. I feel like it's something about your energy. It's like, I'm open to new things and you're gonna meet your person through that, okay? Definitely through some type of hobby. I'm hearing that song, is it Try New Things? It's like by Shakira, it's for that film with the animals in it. <laughs> it's really vague, but if you guys know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, and then we have Get Creative, The Outlaw and The Sage. It's like, I'm hearing like, don't be afraid to like, yeah, literally just try new things, get creative. Cause that might be a big deal for you, especially if you guys are like extreme perfectionists. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do tarot. Okay, we'll do this first. Okay, so this is your person. 
lovely. This person's really encouraging as well. Very mature, very gentle. Likes plants, could be a Taurus as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. Love it when that happens. I'm always very proud. As a psychic, I'm always very proud of that <laughs> when that happens. That will never get old for me. Partners, and then we have solar eclipse. Somebody, okay. <coughs> I need to cough, sorry guys. <coughs> oh, heart shock stuff, sorry guys. Okay, guys, definitely, what was I gonna say? I think the cough just kind of like, I think I coughed out that message. <laughs> it's like, oops, it's gone. Yeah, your partner's gonna recognize you. Your part I don't know what I was gonna say, but I'm hearing your partner's gonna recognize you from, oh, I'm hearing it's finally gonna pay off, thank you. It's finally gonna pay off what you've been doing. So you may have thought, I'm gonna meet a person doing this, I'm gonna meet a person doing that. When I start this new thing, I'm gonna meet a person doing that. It's like, you might not have met them that way, because say if you're gonna like start a new job, you're thinking, this is how I'm gonna meet my person, and it never worked out. It's like, you may have had that thought, but at the time it wouldn't have been the right time. Didn't mean that you weren't gonna have the opportunity to do it, it just wasn't the right time. So your person is very grounded, very mature, they want something committed long-term. This is somebody who's in it for the, the long haul. Like this is somebody who is very bright and big, it's like their energy is gonna, dig you out of your hole of like, I have to be hide myself, my identity is not important. Because what I'm feeling is some of you guys have a fear of being seen, taking up space, being in the limelight and spotlight, things like that. Possibly the fear of earning a lot of money too. Um, and what I'm feeling is like a solar eclipse is a lot of people look at it. It's very exciting. It's like, oh, it's like a new event. This is the relationship. Like this person's very excited by you. Like they are, okay, this person, isn't the most important person like especially if you're an empath you normally have used to being put people on a pedestal you're both the same person like you are equal so remember you're both as equally as important if you're not happy talk about it if they're not happy talk about it like don't be afraid to make it your own this is your life remember you can switch stuff up yes it may be a bit scary but yeah this person is also very sensitive very um, aware like really highly driven sexually driven as well very high sex drive which is so good for some of you guys as well especially if you guys are like that way inclined as well that's going to suit you so well you may have come from an 18 plus reading if you have congratulations because a lot of them have been demonetized and just basically taken away from youtube so if you found one of those well done <laughs> okay eight of swords yeah you have definitely been scared of being seen like literally you're like no don't look at me don't look at me yeah okay so someone's seeing you in your job and then you're scared of being seen but then you're they're saying getting over it very blunt love that and then you realize that you want to have this connection and then you are balanced so it's basically a process yeah so march feels good april feels good august september october so next year is going to be really good for you. What's the insecurity that's holding them back? So every group get, gets an insecurity. <laughs> Congratulations. You get an insecurity. You get an insecurity. Um, wow. Okay. You are definitely not used to being in a relationship with someone who really loves you for who you are. So it's going to be very different. But I'm hearing like, this is what it's like being in a relationship. You're both naked all the time. It's so amazing. <laughs> but no, this is literally like... That's exactly what it is. It actually is a partnership. So we're gonna keep her out because I love the lovers. She's my favorite, love her. Okay, so what's the insecurity? Oh, interesting. Oh, this is a lot. Whoa, this is like a three-parter, interesting. So you're scared of your person seeing your real emotions. You've not been allowed to, to be emotional. Maybe you've been, maybe been told you're too sensitive, you're too emotional, very triggering for you. I'm hearing you're really triggering me. Um, the next part of it is you're scared of actually having a family, maybe commitment. Could be also you're scared of being happy, okay? You're scared of having something that's yours, you're scared it's going to be taken away. The hangman, patience. You guys have also um, forced things in the past and also you've been seen as someone, you're very different and you've been kind of shamed for that. Um, this is you getting used to being different. It's okay to be different, it's okay. Don't be afraid to let yourself hang loose and try new things and do one step at a time. Like your person loves how different you are. That is the most amazing thing about you. 
there's definitely a sense of like really being in the spotlight I'm, I'm seeing like a light shining really bright on my eyes and it's like oh my god it's so overwhelming just want to hide it's like I'm seeing like a woman on the stage and she's got a light shining on her in a spotlight and then she runs off stage really quickly because it's too much this is very like inner child very past life relationship that's why it's a lot um, but it doesn't mean it's wrong okay it doesn't mean it's wrong yeah so I feel this feels really really nice Some of you guys like these. <laughs> really blunt, just gonna point to this right now. Okay, so we have get crystal clear, time to transform. There we go. So that's what I'm feeling. It's like this this year. I mean, you would have already transformed a lot, but there's definitely a higher awareness that you're coming into, and you're not putting up with any more shit. Like you are done with it. You can see shit from a mile off. You can smell it, girl. You can be like, nope. <laughs> no toxicity today you're like you literally smell toxic like that's literally how it feels because you're so good at pointing it out yeah beautiful that's definitely what you're learning this year it's like letting go being creative not okay your life okay mm, this is a good message if you are meant to attract something different okay if you want to attract something different you have to allow your life to be different so if there's something that's very much out of your control let it be out of your control does that make sense like let it just be very loose and like hanging in the breeze it's okay you don't have to fucking grip it down and you know get it in in place like don't be afraid for things to just be like oh okay yeah it's all about perception like if you can be okay with change you can be okay with pretty much anything you've basically got it especially in relationships like if you're used to trying to have control all the time you may have anxiety or slight OCD or deal with depression this is definitely something you're learning okay you're learning to really go with the flow Okay, your person, this is how you're going to meet them. Let's get one more. Okay, your group, every every group I've kind of looked into how they're going to meet, this group is very much just about right timing, right place, right place, right time. There's not really a specific thing. I want to get something about this though. What's this? Where's my tarot cards? Oh, here. <laughs> Door. Okay. There's something about the number six. Hmm. Okay, there might be an opportunity, possibly for some of you guys, there's gonna be an opportunity coming towards you, you might not wanna do it, or you might be like, oh, I'm not too sure, you do it, you meet your person, you're very happy, possibly, for some of you guys, let's get one more. Yeah, after a Saturn return or after something really big, look at where Saturn is in your chart and what it represents, what house is it in, because you may have gone through that in the past few years. Say if it was in the seventh house, you've gone through a lot of relationship issues, you're done. Saturn return, Saturn cycle, done, okay? That is your reading. Have a great day. Rates and crystal shop are below, my lovelies, and I'll speak to you very soon. Also, if you resonate with my uh, channel and you resonate with this reading, please feel free to subscribe and comment if you are drawn to do so. Have a great day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.